Hey, Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic, or anyone who happens to find this video. Okay, so, Nine of Wands, the wounded healer, wounded warrior, you still have gas in the tank to keep going, even though it doesn't feel like it. Just so you know, I was having a crown chakra block. Okay, top of your head. That channel to the divine. That's why I haven't done readings. Um, it's clear now, but realize that things like that happen. And it can be protection in a way. So maybe I wasn't meant to be open at that time because there was some kind of energy trying to influence me and in turn influence you. So, you know, just be aware of that in your own life, okay? Sometimes you're not gonna feel it and that's okay. Rest, do something else, one, 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 okay? So let's see now, we have a full moon coming up on the 17th, so the energy builds and you feel it earlier than most, Pisces. So be aware of your thoughts. Illumination with this full moon. There will be a spotlight put on things. Five of wands, okay? It's going to feel like an upward battle, like you're going against the grain. Oftentimes just keep things to yourself because if you have to try to, listen to my voice. <coughs> I was also having a throat chakra block. Um, so yeah, those two were connected. And, you know, stored emotions, things like that. There is energy out there that wants to block truth. Okay, just like there's quote unquote evil people in the world. That's the same kind of energy, okay? But what's tricky is discerning what that energy is. I remember seeing something one time that someone sent to me that was showing how the villains in like a book or a, a TV show movie, they were always trying to change the status quo. And those people that were good were trying to keep it the same. Now, just sit with that. The world does not stay the same. Energy does not stay the same. So if you think about it, which was really the villain? The one creating the change or the one trying to keep things the same? Okay. So it's okay to go against the grain knowing that these shifts are for the best. They're for that growth. The magician is here. If you hear snoring, that's donut down here on my lap. The magician. So going against magic, going against manipulation the strength card, being able to hold that back. You, Pisces, your energy is so powerful. You, you may not realize it, but it's like you are the energy that can hold back a dam of water, energy. But think of it, it's so much easier to let things flow. Eight of Wands. I feel like for a while there was like a, mm, not yet, not yet, not yet. And then, okay, the dominoes flicked. Everything starts moving. You start to feel that refreshment rather than like stagnant energy. Now, Pisces, let me tell you everything, <laughs> not everything. Some of the things I say, if you've been on the channel for a while, can seem contradictory, okay? But remember, Pisces, the symbol of Pisces, are two fish swimming in opposite directions. 
It's the opposite force. It's polarity. It's balancing out energy. Sometimes it's too far this way. Sometimes it's too far that way. That battle, good versus evil, that's a balancing act. So I know it sounds strange if there's too much good that has to be balanced out by some tragedy, by some sadness, by some struggle. Okay? So it's not always rainbows and butterflies and all that. Sometimes it is a cloudy day. And you can operate in both. You are this change maker. You are this magician. You are this alchemist that can block certain energies when needed. Five, five, five. So yes, it is about change. Change that creates harmony. Five plus five plus five is 15. One plus five is a six. Six is the lover's balance. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. What's one more with the Seven of Wands, please? <clears throat> and we are, we're coming out of retrogrades. There's been planets stationary. Energy's like, you know, if you're driving a car and then you slam on the brakes, there's a jolt or a bicycle, train, plane, you feel something. So, yeah, there, yeah, there was, there's some energy out there that's definitely protecting you. With the King of Swords here and the Seven of Wands, you know, that gives me higher power protection. Whether you're connected in with any of the angels, Archangel Michael comes to mind. All right, just cutting through any crap. So call on your guides at any time. You have to ask them for help. 717, they don't just come in. It's a constant prayer, a constant, hey, everyone, I need help right now. Because, yes, they'll come in at the last minute and swoop in and save you. But all these smaller, well, all of these other instances Get in the habit of asking, hey, I need help. Can you protect me? I need help with this. I'm not sure what to do. It can be small things. It doesn't just have to be big things. So get in the habit of asking your ancestors, your guides, your higher self, if that's where you're, you're at, okay? Because remember this, Pisces, everything that you believe is true to you. So we can try and judge people and say what they believe is, but hey, if they believe it, it's true for them. And the universe is so vast. Who are we to judge it, right? There can be so much going on at the same time in different dimensions. That's what all these daydreams are from. So it's important you know, we stay in our lane. We don't push anything on anyone. You know, if I say anything that's not for you, it is not for you. You know, we have our own perspectives, what we've, what we've experienced, what we just know in our soul, in our core. And that's for us. Everyone is on this journey of their own self-discovery. People may come to you and ask, hey, what, what's your view on this or that? Okay, I will share. But it's not about pushing our belief systems down anyone's throat. Okay. If they come around, they come around. But if not, all right, you'll, you'll figure it out, either in this life or others. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So continue, Pisces, to be yourself because you're you're attracting in your community of people who either have a like like-minded like-hearted view point or they just accept it and accept you as you are oh okay you believe that cool i still like you even though there's a difference 
So keep moving forward. The chariot, this came out in the pre-shuffle. So the chariot, cancer energy. It's about moving forward in a direction and remembering you can change direction. Because you've been all of the other signs before, so you can navigate all of that energy easily. Okay? So who is to say that you are meant to stay in a certain um, box or a certain pigeonhole? Not you, Pisces. You're the magician. You can change at the drop of a hat. You can adapt at the drop of a hat. And here's the lovers. Okay? So you get to choose. You're going towards harmonious partnerships. Anything that feels against the grain, 1111, that's where you're like, okay, I'm going to hands off this. I'm going to go in this other direction. I'll see you guys later. You don't even have to say that, by the way. You do not have to give anyone closure. You can ghost all you want. People can say whatever they want to say. But sometimes that's the easiest way to clear energy. People want drama and it creates more of it. Oh, hey, I'll get back to you and never get back to them. That is okay. That does not make you a bad person. You are protecting your own energy. Yep, here we go, because we have this devil here. That's, <clears throat> excuse me. The other side of the same coin. This is freedom. This is, I can be myself. This is where you feel chained. This is where you feel you have to hold back if you're yourself. So you have a choice, okay? With the 10 of cups here, it's like there are some, let's say family members that you might be on the lover's side with them or you're on the devil's side with them. And sometimes, guess what? That flips back and forth. So what do you do? Do you get stuck? Or do you, oh, okay, just let that, let that ride. Page of Cups. Loving communication or lack thereof. Don't, don't, um, what's that? where you reward bad behavior by causing drama, that causes an addiction because that's a spike in this energy. Like, ooh, excitement. Oh, no, no, no. If it has to do with love, if it has to do with harmony, you are excited all day long. If it's dark or negative, dramatic, oh, mm, I'm not going to give any attention to that because I do not want it to grow. I do not want to fan the flame, okay, 1331, that's 44, that's an eight. So it's talking about that infinite stability, that navigation of energy. We have the five of pentacles and the empress. So this could be real talk, not talking to your mother, not engaging with her straight up abandoning your mother. If the energy doesn't feel right, you are a grown up and you can, you know, mm, this is not a healthy relationship for me. Because there's some kind of tie. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, duh, I have these stones in front of me. <clears throat> <clears throat> so these messages are are being blocked so bear with me it's a hard one but wait my mom but I love her that love does not die you just don't need to interact with her and try it. See how you feel if you don't talk to her every day. 
you probably feel really good. And it's not her per se as an individual. It's some kind of energy. Love from afar. And granted, sometimes we have to test it. Sometimes we have to connect with them. And then you might notice these shifts in your own energy. That's okay. Pay attention to that. If you start to get sick or things start going wrong, who'd you tell? Who'd you talk to? Who heard your voice? Whose voice did you hear? Just keep it really far. And the justice again. Again. No, this is the first time. What was I thinking? Maybe it came out in the pre-shuffle. But yeah, ignoring. This is Four of Cups can be meditation, contemplation, but it also can be apathy and not caring. So either that your mom just didn't really ever care, and this is the justice point. We don't beg. Okay. If energy is not freely given, if love's not freely given, that is the Ten of Swords, Pisces. It will keep hurting you. So just, okay, that's how my mom is. I can see the ways in which she does show me love. But that's all I will look at. I will love myself. I will have other people in my life that love me. That's it. It's a hard one, Pisces. Oh my gosh. Super hard. <clears throat> but this is your opportunity, so try it. Okay? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So try it. See how your life changes in just a small, you know, amount of time. Okay, Mom, I'm really busy right now. We can't talk. Let me text you. Block, block any energy, okay? All right, and see how you heal. And perhaps your mother heals or the relationship heals if you don't speak every day. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to force the burden, right? Because that's what's causing this slowness, this slowing down in your own life is because your mom's energy is in it so if you're having relationship problems don't tell your mom about your relationship problems with friends don't tell your mom about your friends keep it all secret hide everything from your 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 mom on social media too because she's stalking that high priestess and the five of cups I was thinking actually 10 of pentacles. So yeah, siphoning your energy. However, think about the word, because <clears throat> this is what's reminding me, intoxicating. You know, when you drink too much, what's the root word of that? Toxic, intoxic, creating toxicity. So if there's anything in your life that causes that, make sure you're in a positive energy because it can negate all of this inner work that you've done, okay? Try it. See how you feel. Make a note of it. All right, Pisces, beautiful reading. I'm really proud of you. But yeah, you might have to avoid your mother for a bit. Ooh, let me ask time. Let me ask time. Because it doesn't have to be forever. The two of wands is here, so this makes me think two weeks. Until you feel happy. <laughs> nine of cups. So nine days. Nine days. Let's say um, nine days to two weeks.
Yeah, there's a 12 here too. Two sixes. 12, 13. Yeah. Your mom could be a water sign or a fire sign because we have two queens here. Ace of Swords Truth. Yeah, don't tell your mom anything until you've already deposited the check, signed on the dotted line, said I do, whatever. Don't don't share it. Um, because in the past, when you shared information, it would be manipulated by this energy coming from your mother. I am so sorry, but I know exactly what that's like. So you can do this. All right, Pisces, I love you. I'll see you soon.